All right, welcome back to the garage. This is Torino. So I've been riding my my Royal Enfield tube Manila for a few months, and even though I have saddlebags and a tank bag, I kind of need more room for clothes and to carry a, a jacket and maybe a tent someday if I want to camp. But uh, what I what so what I'm thinking about is creating a an extended sissy bar that can hold uh, a small duffel. And I, I totally get it. It's 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 kind of funny. Normally you just see these on a chopper, but I had the, uh, the small sissy bar here, and it already had you know tubes. So I just picked up these two existing tubes and uh, fitted these two pieces of steel to here and I bent this this piece of steel here with my bender and I'm going to cut that off here probably bevel these edges weld that and here I'm just experimenting with some ways of providing tie down points and down in in this area, I'm going to use some of this round bar. To, and rather than just using a flat plate, I'm going to try to make uh, kind of a supporting structure with this round bar for the duffel. This is a, a duffel that I decided to use. Purchased this off Amazon. It's called a. Uh, Call a dry pack. Uh, this one is 40 liters. Has abundance of straps and lots of room inside. Uh, and when it's fully packed, it's it's kind of circular like a duffel bag, and it's going to go on here something like this. But one of the things I have to watch out for is to not block my my tail leg and turn signals so I think the the basket I'm going to call it a basket or a, or a ledge you know, it's going to come out probably to here and then I'll use the round bar to bend around and secure it here I'll put some stiffeners here and then on, on this side eventually I'm going to try to make a, a pad you know a, a soft pad to extend it probably up here so with that I didn't really want to make uh, weld this uh, mainly because I have a, a nice uh, TIG ACDC TIG machine here that I need to brush the dust off and start using. This is an HTP Invertig 221. And I mainly purchased this machine when I was experimenting welding aluminum. But uh, of course it also does DC TIG steel. So if you've seen in any of my other videos, you know I'm not a very good welder so I'm practicing <laughs> and um, we just got to dial, dial it in and hopefully I'll be able to TIG weld this big long sissy bar so let's see what we can do. I also should mention you know I don't want to ride around when I'm not traveling with a gigantic sissy bar here so I'm going to create uh, some access points here for a quick release pin or a uh, maybe a hood a hood pin off of an old Mustang that you might be aware of to 
to secure this and then simply remove the whole thing, but I'm not using it.